there are two main classes of lung cancer. The first is non-small cell lung cancer. The second is small cell lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancers account for approximately 85% of lung cancer cases, whereas small cell lung cancer accounts for approximately 15% of cases. Non-small cell lung cancer develops more gradually than small cell lung cancer and generally produces no symptoms until the advanced stages. Small cell lung cancer is usually associated with smoking and is very rare for non-smokers to develop. It often spreads rapidly and so your doctor may recommend the use of chemotherapy over surgery in treating it. Small cell lung cancer gets its name from its small appearance under a microscope. Staging helps your healthcare provider identify how far the cancer has progressed and can be used to guide treatment options as well as provide information regarding prognosis. The number staging system is a method for classifying non-small cell lung cancer and will be explained in this module. It is important to understand some basic terminology before moving forward. An important body system often monitored with cancer is the lymphatic system. Our bodies have a network of vessels and nodes that collect fluid called lymph from the body's tissues. Lymph carries things such as debris, fats, and white blood cells, and is separate from your bloodstream. Metastasis is the spread of cancer from a primary area to another. Cancerous cells can travel through the lymph where they can create tumors in lymph nodes. Stage 1 lung cancer is the earliest stage at which most lung cancers can be diagnosed, and the stage where long-term survival is the longest. At this point, the cancer is localized, meaning it is only located in the lungs and has not yet spread to any lymph nodes. There are two types of stage 1 lung cancer. The first type of stage 1 lung cancer is stage 1A. This is where the tumor is less than 3 centimeters or 1.5 inches. The lung cancer cannot be found in any nodes and there is no metastasis. The second type of stage 1 lung cancer is stage 1B. This is where the tumor is greater than 3 cm. The lung cancer still cannot be found in any lymph nodes and there is no metastasis. Surgery is the treatment of choice for stage 1 lung cancer. However, other major treatments are available. Stage 2 lung cancer tumors are slightly larger than those of stage 1. The cancer may have spread to the lymph nodes on the same side of the chest and or to other tissues in the chest. There are two subtypes of stage 2 lung cancer. The first subtype is subtype 2A. This is where the tumor has a width of 5 to 7 centimeters and has not yet spread to the lymph nodes. Or the tumor is less than 5 centimeters but has spread to lymph nodes on the same side of the chest. The second subtype is subtype 2B. This is where the tumor is more than 7 centimeters wide and has not yet spread to any lymph nodes. Or the tumor is 5 to 7 centimeters wide but has spread to lymph nodes on the same side of the chest. Or, the tumor is beginning to invade other structures in the chest. Or, there is more than one tumor in the same lobe of the lung. Stage 2 cancers are often treated with surgery and or chemotherapy. Stage 3 cancer is also known as locally advanced disease. It is when the cancer has spread beyond the lymph nodes on the same side of the chest. It has two subtypes. The first subtype is subtype 3A. This is when the primary tumor spreads to lymph nodes located in the center of the chest cavity. The second subtype is subtype 3B. This is when the primary tumor spreads to lymph nodes located on the opposite side of the chest cavity. Most cancers in this stage will be considered inoperable, and a combination of radiotherapy as well as chemotherapy will be used as treatment. Stage 4 is the final stage, whereby the cancer is either accompanied by pleural effusion, which is a fluid buildup between the lungs and the chest wall, or has metastasized to other parts of the body, such as the brain, bones, or liver. Although stage 4 cancers are difficult to cure, there are treatment options available. Given that the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, surgery is not usually recommended. Chemotherapy or targeted therapy may then be prescribed depending on the type, size, and location of the tumors, and whether you are on medications for other health conditions. Radiation may be used to shrink tumors that are causing symptoms in the patient. If your cancer at first responded to one type of therapy but then progressed, your cancer is called recurrent. 
In these cases, other chemotherapy or targeted therapy drugs may be recommended. Many people experience great improvement with additional treatment even after their cancer has recurred.